Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Guys, we've got a nice panel here today. This is the Enernova 100 watt folding portable solar panel. Now this is a two panel solar panel, so it's really easy to set up, really easy to take down, and you're gonna see it's really flexible when, it, when you need to adjust for the solar angle, okay? So uh, why don't we go ahead and check this out? Let's go ahead and get this party started. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. Let's get this unboxed. And there it goes. Nice looking panel, I'll tell you. I like the blue and the black. Let's take a quick look. Let me zoom out. We'll take a quick look at this. So, right off the bat, I love this design, right? This, this uh, open-close, it's kind of a magnet. So it actually grabs. You got a nice big handle here for big hands and small hands. So that's nice. And you can see they've got the logo there. We've got these kickstands that look like they're flexible, and that's going to be important. We're going to try, we're going to test those out. And you've got a button system here, so you know, locks in place, doesn't flap around. So that's pretty nice. Um, so this is a two panel solar panel. So you've got a kickstand on both, you've got the um, MC4 cables right here. All right. We'll provide some specs in a little while. And uh, if you take a look, there you go. You got a nice panel. So let's go ahead and lay this out. But first, I definitely would like to provide you with some specs. And the cost, I'm not sure yet because this is a new panel, so I don't think it's launched. But let me go ahead and bring up some information. So let's go ahead and start off with MSRP, all right, as far as the pricing is concerned. We'll put that there if we have it. And then we're going to go into some specs now. So uh, the conversion rate, all right, what the conversion rate is. There's all the information on the screen. Opening up the panel, pretty simple. It's a two panel system. They're wider panels, so that's the 100 watt panel. And then you take your kickstands. Now, I'll tell you, I'm excited, but I don't want to get too excited yet. Um, you know, what's nice is being a two panel system, it's, it's easier to set up, it seems. And uh, let's check out these legs, you know. So if I think about the highest angle I could get this set up on, Right, that's probably the highest angle. That's amazing, that's a really good angle. But I guess the question is, how far back can we go? So let's check that out now. So remember this, right? So let's see how far back we can go. So I'm gonna pull these as far back as I can. And because they stretch, that's gonna be huge. Now I am on concrete, so it's gonna slide a little bit. But let's take a look at this and now see the angle that we have and as you can see there I mean that is a big difference so I like that they included um, you know the stretchable straps because some companies don't do that and then you don't get that option to pull these back as far as you want I mean you can probably get further on like grass and stuff like that and we're gonna do a test on the grass in a minute and the grass is actually pretty high so we'll do the best we can but I like the angle all right, definitely like that you can go from a tall angle all the way back. And that's important because of, you know, solar. You want to be able to match where the sun is at in the sky. So, guys, we're here on the grass, and here is where you're probably going to get your best angle, okay? And, and again, these 
kickstands, I got to tell you, man, they're really nice because they allow you to go back really far because these straps stretch. Some manufacturers make the mistake and don't make these stretchable. But, I mean, think about it. You know, this is one angle, all right? I'll go ahead and lift it to the highest, but that's one angle. And then if I need to adjust this, right, I can pull this up real easy. All right, let me see how high I can get it. And think about that. Look how high, you know? So if you can have it high, you can have it low. I just love how adjustable this panel is. Pretty cool. So here's the solar panel. And what you want to do is make sure you have it angled correctly so you're getting as much power from the sun. Now, I use this solar angle guide. I swear by it. It's so simple. And you don't even need to mount it or anything. You can use it for a moment. And I want to show you there's a dot here in the front. And it creates a shadow. You see the shadow back there? So the goal is to get this shadow in the center of the target. So let's go ahead and put this on the panel. And I'm going to show you that I've got a really good angle here. So I'll zoom in so you can actually see the angle that I got. And that is spot on. And that's going to give me the maximum amount of wattage. Obviously assuming clouds and stuff like that, but let's see. Let's go ahead and plug in the XT60, and that's really the best way to charge this. All right, you can use a barrel port also, but let's see what we're getting when this turns on. Actually, I might have to turn it on, to be honest with you. Let's see. I'm going to wait and see if it receives power and turns itself on. It does. Okay. So here we go. We are receiving 88 point... We're receiving 89 watts. Wow. That's pretty solid. Look, we got a great angle, 100 watt panel, and we're receiving 89.3 watts. All right, now we don't have any time here to tell us how long it'll take to fully charge the unit because we've only got one bar to charge. But 89.5 watts, 89.6. Now, hey, just so you'll know, temperature out here today is about 51 degrees, uh, partially cloudy. Okay, so 89.6 watts out of a 100 watt panel. Guys, that's a success. Before we end the video, I wanted to also show you that, you know, this thing's got the four loopholes on each corner. So that's nice. So if you don't want to use the kickstands and you want to hang this, you can do that, which is pretty cool. So something to think about. Nice product. By the way, in a few days, we're going to actually have this power station video launching. Guys, this is a little over eight pounds. It is the smallest lithium iron phosphate power station I have seen that can power 600 watt appliances and devices. Plus, we did our refrigerator test. So I'll put a link in the description, all right, when this video launches, but look out for it if you want to check it out. Well guys, after using this for about a week, I'm pretty impressed. It's very lightweight because it's only two panels. It's actually very easy to set up. And I love the kickstands. I love how adjustable those are. You don't get that a lot. They actually made the, the strap back there flexible so that you can adjust the angle. So it's really nice. But listen, I hope you found this video helpful in some way. And if you did, take a moment and give us a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. All right, I'm serious. You know, it really helps the channel and it really helps our video. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, take a moment and subscribe. We'd love to have you as family members. And we love collaborating and answering questions and stuff like that. Um, share our video too. And if you do share our video with your friends or your family or any rooms that you're in, post a comment so we can actually give you some love, all right? Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and check out our new Tesla channel. We are a new Tesla owner, and we are going to, you know, we're doing some reviews for now of products that we're purchasing and accessories and things like that, but our goal is to share going from a gas car to a battery car.